some young broke dude. Hey there, it's been a while. You sure have grown. You've done something new with your hair. You look, you look different. It looks nice. It's good to see you. You may have already gathered from the uh, title card there that we're going to be doing I'm a Total Piece of Shit today, so uh, let's just jump right into it. Karen sits on Disabled Kid to make a phone call. Now, I'm probably not the first to say this, but uh, maybe don't sit on Disabled Kids, you know? Hashtag, Disabled Kids aren't chairs. Today, my eight-year-old girl got upset that her new pet hamster wouldn't let her pet it, so I didn't feed it for five days, so it has to let her pet it for food. She is so happy. Hashtag, good parenting. Oh, this video comes with some parenting tips. I'm gonna write that one down. Starve pets to make kids happy. Got it. I spent thousands of dollars in several days to get a chance to photograph a great white shark. Here it is. I would argue that a photo bombing fish picture is actually just, just as good. 65% of women cheat, but 85% of the time it's the man's fault. E.g., women tend to cheat because they feel lonely for long periods of time in a relationship, and so might lean on another male for support and accidentally have sex with them. I wonder how well that excuse would work for me, like, oh yeah, I cheated, but it's your fault. I was lonely, and then I accidentally had sex with the girl that I was talking to about it, you know? Whoopsie daisies. So I made a drawing that took 10 plus hours for someone, and since they are family, I only charged 10 bucks. And when I went to get paid, she took it, the drawing, out of my hands and said, You're almost 17, get a real job. I'm done with people like this. Your family member is a douchebag. That's all I really gotta say about that one. A business owner from a roofing company came to give me an estimate today. Look at how he dressed for the meeting. What do you think? Hey there, mister, I'm here with the estimate for your roofing job that you talk about on the internet there. That actually happened. A Georgia SWAT officer Kobe the flashbang into a baby crib and lit the baby on fire. This happened like five years ago. I wish there was a video of this. <laughs> Even with my limited experience on the internet, I can guarantee there is much worse content on the internet than flashbang baby crib fire. I care about cooks, servers, bartenders, hairstylists, flight attendants, retail workers, baristas, personal trainers, and small business owners more than your grandparent with pre-existing conditions. Sorry if you were offended. Should I say goodbye to you now? Love your old Aunt Peggy with pre-existing conditions. Oh, that's the worst. That awkward moment you have to be like, Oh, sorry Aunt Peggy. Oh, I was, I was talking about other people, not you. If I'm driving faded how I normally do, and it do a brake check? I just might crash. What the fuck? Don't throw me off like that, Chief. <laughs> Driving faded. <laughs> That's awesome. My grandpa was killed from a faded driver. Swerved into him head on and ejected him through the windshield onto the pavement where he bled out. But that's awesome that you drive faded normally. <laughs> Sorry about your grandfather, but it's a game of chance that I'm a take. And in a cruel twist of fate, she would crash into a tree and eject herself through a windshield onto the pavement where she would bleed out, thankfully. I hope this forces prices up so that flying is a luxury again that people actually dress up for instead of all the sweatpants and tank tops and camo hat wearing scum crammed into a flying bus. Sounds like this dude's had the misfortune of sharing a flight with the dudes from the Duck Dynasty one too many times. Just to let all my friends and family know, I have been tested positive for COVID-19. For all the ones who have been visiting my house lately, especially the barbecue we had the other day, you might have to get yourself checked out now. I'm really sorry. Can't imagine the frustration of waking up and checking my Facebook to find out I might have fucking COVID-19. Thanks, Gary. I don't like being told what to do. My mom doesn't like being told what to do. If we're told to stay inside, you best believe we going outside and doing whatever the fuck we want. The government can try, but they can't do shit. Not everyone's going to stay inside. Sorry, I hate being cooped up in the house 24-7. I make sure my mom always has me out of the house once a day. I cannot stand it. And the BS the grocery stores are doing with six feet apart, one family member only, go down this way and up that way. We don't fucking listen to that shit. My life not yours get over it if we get the virus so be it until then i don't care wanna ss this here's my app too and let's just add her to the list of people from this video that we really hope get covid all of it all of the covid twice Anyone walking their dog around Bleak Hills or off Sheep Bridge Lane in Mansfield, please be aware of this man. He has just kicked my dog and sent him flying in the air when he went over to play with the stick. He is a horrible, nasty man, and he said he will do it again. 
Truth be told, she should have just punched him in the dick and ran. He doesn't look like he could catch her if he tried. Oh, that lady punched me in the dick. Oh, somebody call the police. I'm pressing charges on that woman and that nasty little dog, too. Here's one major problem with our society. Old people, retarded people, crippled people, lazy people, and sick people are not supposed to exist. They're supposed to die off. That's how evolutionary biology works. Only the strong survive, meaning those most capable of adapting to change. Meaning when you were too old, sick, or weak, you aren't supposed to survive. No other species on this planet goes out of its way to protect the weak. Only humans do that, and while it seems morally correct, it is actually the reason for our species' constant struggle here. Too many people who were supposed to die off didn't. Now we have an entire civilization of old, sickly, weak, dumb, fear-driven idiots running around wearing surgical masks because they think they are somehow entitled to survival. Nothing could be further from factual. Am I worried that your grandma could get this and die? Nope. Hope she does. Sorry, not sorry. I always find it ironic when dumb people post super long Facebook rants about how much they don't like dumb people. It's awesome. I always pause while I'm scrolling and just appreciate that for a minute. Dear Oak Park resident, I really am sorry for taking the flowers out your garden. All the grocery stores ran out. I literally went to six different stores. I'm tired and my mom is waiting. Put yourself in my shoes before you decide to be upset. Happy Mother's Day. That's a total dick move, but hey, it's the thought that counts. Happy Mother's Day. Some asshole in Walmart asked me why I was going down the wrong side of the aisle and why wasn't I wearing a mask. I said, because this is America, you spineless fuck, and don't let your fear interfere with my freedom. His face. My vote? Kick him in the nuts. Ten out of ten times. Every time. Florida man arrested for practicing karate by kicking swans in the head. I mean, the act itself was probably pretty terrible, but the, the visual imagery in my head, just thinking about a dude standing in a park, karate kicking swans in the head, that's pretty fantastic, actually. If you ever tell me your family needs to social distance and that people are dying because of me not distancing, honey, sit the fuck down. Shut the fuck up and mind your own business. <laughs> Karen, you're pressed for what? Yes, I'm aware people are dying, but it ain't because of me, and my family's clean. Don't come at me, cause you're a white basic loser that doesn't know what cleaning is. Take care of yourself, cause you're gonna need it. Thank you, and stay safe. I'm tired of people telling me this, like, shut the fuck up. You so worried, go drink some Clorox and eat some disinfecting wipes. Judging from the first two paragraphs, I'd assume that the third paragraph is genuine advice that he actually believes in. Here's to hoping he himself is drinking Clorox and eating disinfectant wipes. Please. I can't get too emotional about an 82-year-old dying. Ultimately, they lived their life and died of old age. I feel sadder about my daughter missing out on school and having to do her dance lessons on Zoom. She shouldn't have to make such sacrifices for an old person like that. I can't imagine that being your idea of a sacrifice. Like, oh, my daughter had to do her dance lessons on Zoom. So tough. I sacrificed a lot. Sacrificed a lot. In tough times. Football filled with concrete left in playing field with notes saying, Bet that hurt. It probably did hurt if he kicked it, but if he didn't kick it and all he saw was the message and then realized there was concrete in the ball, that message makes absolutely no goddamn sense. On May 4th, 2020, in the Avenue area, police responded to a report that a resident, while walking his dog, noticed pieces of hot dogs scattered on the lawns. Upon further checking, it revealed that the hot dogs contained nails. The police are currently investigating this incident and request that anyone with information contact the detective at his personal phone. So now that, that's evil. That's pretty goddamn evil. I wouldn't be upset if somebody uh, pushed him in front of a moving train. That'd be just fantastic. This is me in Costco today without a mask. I was the only one, but they gave me no problem when I said I cannot wear a mask. I have a condition at the door. And God willing, this was her last Facebook post because she sucked in all the coronavirus that day. I don't know why my last post was deleted. This page says no rules. Once again, selling positive pregnancy tests for $50 each. Need money for my kids. Make that man yours forever. Is she really a piece of shit though? I mean, she's trying to provide for her kids. That's, that's kind of an honorable thing. 11 years, hashtag sober life, hashtag good life. 58 years, not sure why people think putting out a fire they started deserves any recognition. And 58 years sober isn't that big of an accomplishment if you're just going to spend that time bitching about it on the internet. 
We don't want Mexicans, we don't want Muslims, we don't want gays, and we absolutely do not want black color people in America. Out! My Twitter account got suspended for 12 hours after giving my opinion. If this doesn't change, I will be contacting my lawyer. Oh, Rossi, you racist bitch. In fifth grade, I missed school often because my mom was in the hospital for cancer. One day, my teacher approached me and asked why I had been missing class. I told her and she proceeded to say, Well, you still need to come to school. Your home life isn't as important as school. Cancer smancer, Debbie. This is your education we're talking about. This is your future. This is your whole life. Your mom's only going to be around for a while. Hey, man. I drive drunk and haven't hurt anyone. Not all drunk drivers are bad, dude. Man, some people. I can't even. Can't even. If you decide to go through his phone, don't check if he's cheating. Go to his bank app and send yourself money. Stop being stupid. Yeah, stop being stupid. Why let your insecurity stop you from robbing your boyfriend blind? Friendly reminder to all the stepmothers, foster mothers, and adopted mothers out there. You are not mothers. Don't ever think that you are anything like mothers. You are nothing like mothers. You are pathetic imposters, criminal child abductors, human traffickers. You have no legal rights. Get out now before I track you down. Hashtag happy Mother's Day to those who give birth only. I'd venture a guess that her kids didn't call her on Mother's Day, didn't wish her a happy Mother's Day over Facebook, and now she's angry and lashing out irrationally on Facebook to her friends list, composed mostly of people she just added so she could send them requests on Farmville. Women should be financially taken care of in a relationship. Your woman shouldn't have to worry about paying a damn thing. If you cannot afford to take care of a woman completely, don't date or pursue a woman until you can. The woman is the prize. Pay for it! You heard it here first. Women are not objects to be purchased. They're more like subscription services. It's like you gotta pay for them monthly. Every once in a while, you gotta get them something nice. So you can keep them. It makes sense. So this stupid fucking dog wants to eat out the trash when I live her out the kennel for seven and a half minutes. So now she gets all the trash she wants. By the way, this dog is free to anyone who wants her. And if y'all think this is animal abuse, go fuck yourself. I'm gonna have to cut this video short. I'm gonna go fuck myself, because I, uh, think this is animal abuse. So yeah, hope you learned something. Hope you had a good laugh. Let me know in the comments if you think I should keep doing this commentary thing. People keep requesting it in the comments. I try to tell them I'm too awkward for that, but they insist, so thought I'd try it out for my first time back in the past three months. Maybe click that subscribe button, punch it if you got one of those touchscreen fancy laptops, and, uh, come back in a few days. Maybe I'll have another video made. Take care.